if I'm the only one that is in this camp, but holy moly, so many things going on. Let's just see what this is. Hold on, you guys. Hi, guys. Miss. Oh, that's me. Yay. All right, YouTube, I'm up. I'm still checking Facebook here. Um, we're going to work on my Tula Pink homemade bed quilt this evening is the plan. I am sipping a Josh Pinot Noir, which is amazing. Here I am. Let me turn my volumes down and volumes down. All right, if you are on Facebook, say hi. Hi, Linda Wood from Texas. If you're on YouTube, say hi. If you are on Instagram, say hi. All right, so if this is the first time you're joining me, welcome to the party. It's, it's actually more of a happy hour than a party. Uh, we are simply grabbing some wine. Check. We are grabbing our featherweights. Check. And we are grabbing a quilting project. And we are going to just have some fun together, all of us. Oh, lots of friends. Je Carolyn is here. Hello, LeMaster. And we have Jennifer and Bonnie and Mom and Judy from Missouri. Hello. And Kathy Klein from Illinois. Kathy, I got your order today. It did not go out, but it's going out tomorrow. Uh, Norita from Iowa. Hello. My friend Lisa Meadows. Hello. Oh my goodness. She's, Lisa and I are friends from uh, Phoenix. She said, broke another two heat records here in Phoenix today. Mm, sorry. Yikes. And so she is on. Hello from Merce, California. She says TGIF. Yay. And Nancy from Lake Stevens. Oh, from Wet Lake Stevens. <laughs> Jackie Legan is from Chile, Illinois. And uh, Bridget from Rimrock wants to know if I've ever met Tula Pink. I have not. I had an opportunity um, back, like way back, guys, like Neptune back uh, when she was still an up and coming designer. My friend who owned a quilting um, shop in uh, in downtown Seattle had, was bringing her out. She paid her rider and her travel and her passage and everything. And um, I just, I think I was working that weekend and I couldn't do both. And so I didn't get to meet her. I thought I would have another opportunity and it just has never happened again. So someday, someday we'll be in a room together and I will try seriously hard not to geek out. I will try hard not to geek out. Pam Green is on. Hi, Pam. We've had some conversations today. Poor Pam's had a, a time with her machine painter. She's getting a machine redone. Um, a beautiful green, a blue color. I can't wait to see the pictures. Um, hopefully that will go off without any more hitches. And Julia's on from Texas. Melanie on from Mississippi. Hello, my dear. All right. Well, you know what I was thinking, guys, this week? Actually, it came to me while I was working out today <clears throat> on my stationary bike that we have a sip and so every single Friday. And um, you all are faithful and join me, which makes me so happy that I'm not just sitting here um, like a happy, you know, quilter lush all by myself. Um, and we have never toasted. We need to do a cheer. So I have, we're going to play a new game. We are going to, I'm going to make a, a toast to all of us tonight. And then moving forward in the next couple weeks, I want you guys to submit your favorite toasts to me via email. It's going to be a little bit of a contest, if you will. Um, the email to send your favorite toast to is info, I-N-F-O, at featherweightdoctor.com. And on Fridays at my Sip and Sew, if I choose your toast to, to open the show, then I'm going to send you a free gift. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a great idea because everybody likes free things. I certainly do. So tonight we're going to start off with a toast I found on the internet. Um, I think that these days we could all stand a little bit more levity. And so these are meant to be funny and not serious. Oh, we have some comments. <laughs> Lisa said, geek away when you meet her. I'm going to keep it cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can play it cool. I promise. Sean Wright is on. Hi. I'm going to get some bubbly then cheers. Okay, we're going to wait for Sean to get back. 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to send out as my free gift. Yes, dear. Turn down the light. Okay. Oh, my, oh, racism a little bright. Okay. Oh, that's even brighter. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Good. Thank okay. you. Don't want to be washed out. <laughs> uh, bubbly sounds good. Bubbly gives me a headache, though. I cannot drink champagne. There's one champagne I can drink. It's called, oh, goodness gracious. It's called Almond Champagne, and it is made in Temecula, California at Wilson Creek Winery. My, one of my very best childhood friends uh, got married there. Oh, Kenny said it looked beautiful. Thank you. I have a dinner thing later. Do I look okay? Do I need to change? I have literally tennis shoes on, jeans on underneath this blouse. <laughs> Hi, Deanne from North Dakota. Thanks for joining us. Um, Deanne and Kathy Klein... And uh, uh, should be getting their masks soon. Oh, Helene is on the luckiest. She literally is the luckiest featherweight lady I've ever met. Where the smoke is so bad you can barely see. Hope it's nice there. It's kind of been raining on and off and a little cool fall has definitely set in um, in the Pacific Northwest here for sure. No, wear that top. She said, take off the tennis shoes, go barefoot. <laughs> my podiatrist would be mad at you. My friend Becky is a podiatrist, and I asked her about my foot pain, and she said I have plantar fasciitis, and to stop wearing, being barefoot, and to stop wearing non-supportive shoes. Oh, Lisa's got to go. Check on dinner for the hubs. That's on the stove. Have a great weekend. Thanks for popping in, sweetheart. I've got some information for you about my, um, my Phoenix trip, too, so when we'll circle back around this week. I'm always barefoot too. Here, that's the problem. <gasps> Hi, Carla. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay, so I think I think our friend has to be back here. Sean, we're gonna we're gonna cheers because I want to get to sewing. All right, so you guys raise your glasses. Here's our cheers. May the roof above these friends never fall in, and may the friends beneath this roof never fall out. Yay! Cheers. Okay, <laughs> let's sew. Deanne Hartman says we're supposed to get snow tonight. What? I am not a snow person, you guys. I'm just not. I like the pretty flurrying in the air. I love what it looks like on the on the evergreen trees. You know how they're kind of weighted down with the white. The house Carla clicked her glass at me, guys. Um, I do not not like driving in it. I do not not like being cold. So Deanne, I'll send a prayer your way, sweetheart, so you don't get cold. Okay. Uh, Karina, Alice Powell says, my 61 Daisy is happy to be home. Thank you for fixing her. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay. I fixed a machine this week too for a friend in Colorado. Actually Highland Park. I think it's called Highland Park. I've never had this happen before, but um, I had this gal who found me through one of these shows, and she had a featherweight. I really, she got a, I don't remember how she procured it, but it had come to live with her and had been sitting there and not getting any action, and she finally decided it was happening and realized that it was missing a bunch of parts. And so it came to me, but before it came to me, oh, Karen. Okay, oh, Karina. Okay, sorry. Karen. <laughs> um, before it came to me, she tried to send it to me, and FedEx re-stickered it in the FedEx office that she sent it from in Denver, and it went to some other guy. You guys, her precious featherweight went to some other guy in California at some big company, and if it wasn't for the fact that she had left me a little note um, with her phone number and stuff, right at the top of the box, the guy wouldn't even have known who to send it to. <sighs> oh my gosh, that makes me just not feel well, just for, for my, uh, for my friend. So anyway, this was a good and honest soul. This goes, just goes to show you that there are good and honest human beings still out there. And he called her and said, hey, I've got this old sewing machine that belongs to you. And anyway, he forwarded it on and got to the, got it back to the right, um, got it back to me. And then I finished putting her back together. 
and she sews beautifully after a few hours of rebuilding her. So yay, good. All right. Um, so Deanne says she loves winter. Girl, you and I, we need to have a chat. The sun, the summer, so much better. <laughs> Jennifer says your foot problem is no fun. My friend has a foot cast for six weeks. Don't wish that on me, lady. Jennifer, I need to be good. I've been wearing these um, soles or these flip-flops all week. What did I do with my soul there? That have the negative, you know, heel or whatever. And so my foot actually feels a ton better. I haven't had to be take any ibuprofen this week, which is good. Um because I already have problems with, uh, oh, here, look, look at my rooms. Look, 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 it's coming together. Um, so that's good. Oh, Julia says, I can't handle the pull at all. You and me both. Oh, Melanie likes my new nail color, big change from the green. Yes, I went with a burnt red for fall. Isn't that pretty? I already chipped them three times. I don't even know why I try. <laughs> These little machines are bad on the fingernails, are bad on the manicures. All right, I need another gray. Does anybody have any fun weekend plans? Oh, Carla wants to know if I have Payless shoes. Yes, we have, I think it's called, some, vault, no, I think they're called Payless now. Yeah, I have those here. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. She says, I love the colors. I, this quilt makes me so happy. I'm a little tempted to send it to my son in Hawaii. Although he will have no appreciation for Tula pink at all. Because the boy doesn't even have any sheets on his bed. Never mind a proper bed quilt. So I'm thinking about sending him this quilt so he has something on his bed other than a... He has a large lap quilt and like this ugly comforter that came out of his intern room. That's what he's been sleeping with. Think. But I just know he won't really appreciate Tula, so why would I send him Tula? Oh, they do have shoe inserts, Carla? I'll have to look at that. I'll look for that when I'm out next. Hi, Kathy Heiss. Thanks for joining me. I'm going fishing. Got a little cool front blow in, so the water should be grand. <laughs> Melanie, you're excited about going fishing? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> My husband, he loves to fly fish, and I told him that I wanted to learn how to fly fish. Really, what I'm saying is I want to learn how to have patience to fish, but at least fly fishing on like a river is a real active Thing, and you're not just dropping a pole and kind of sitting there. Kathy, Kirkland Quilter's on. Hello. Um, and so I might, so anyway, you, you should have seen, ladies, the look on his face when I said I wanted to learn how to fly fish. He like fell in love with me all over again. It was very cute. He had this cute little lovesick puppy look on his face like, I made a good choice 25 years ago. <laughs> I should hope so after 25 years. Goodness. Not realizing he made a mistake anyway. Uh, what did I start with? So white and then yeah, pink, 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 pink. Okay. All right, I gotta find those inserts. That's that is good to know. Oh, Dr. Schultz has good inserts too. Sounds like he needs a house warming and food. Oh, <laughs> right. I know for my son. Pam Green says, sounds like he needs a housewarming and a food pounding party. I think you're probably right. I sent him some stuff in a care package, so he's not totally without. He's just having some car problems right now, so he can't really get to where he needs to get to to buy the things he needs to buy. If mom was there in Hawaii, it would be totally taken care of. But alas, I am not. Hopefully we will see him at Christmas time. Ray and I are excited, Andy, too, about the possibility of seeing him at Christmas time. It'll be a year at Christmas time since we've seen him. Hmm, cannot wait. For those of you in Phoenix, I got my tickets this week for, um, for my trip to 
go there and do workshops and such. So um, hopefully y'all have signed up for some classes because it'll just be me out there, I guess. Uh, oh, 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 can I screw up? Wait, hold on. Hold on, darling has to think. B, D, blue, white, pink, blue, white, pink, blue, white. Okay. <laughs> this is going to get out of order. Hey, he does. <laughs> Kathy, yeah, I, so Kathy just said, hey, he does have a cappuccino machine. It's true. He doesn't have sheets on his bed, but the boy can make himself a mean latte. I, Mom sent him a really nice espresso machine when he was an intern. Fish, oh, fly fishing is fun, Julia said. Is it? I'm excited to learn how. I signed up for a class and then COVID messed it all up. I know it messes everything up, but it messed up my class, so I'll have to take it as soon as they're offering it again. Uh, Melanie says, fly fishing is fantastic. I have my pink gear. Ooh. Special edition fly rod and reel for breast cancer awareness. I love that. But she said it ain't easy. <laughs> Hi, Cindy Hinkle. How are you, my friend? Oh, hi. Oh, CD Stitch 13 says cheers. And Donna Lima says cheers. Hi, you guys on, on uh, YouTube land. I have trouble like following three different feeds. It's a lot to think about at the same time of quilting and sipping and sewing. So I had a nice little unexpected surprise today. I am um, one of my best friends uh, lives over in downtown Seattle. We've known each other like, oh my goodness, 10 years, nine, 10 years. Uh, she popped over and surprised me today, yay! So I got to have lunch with my bestie. row is done. Let me just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have. Kathy wants to know if I've ever seen the river runs through it. I think I did when I was younger. That was like, <laughs> Cindy said she's sipping along. <laughs> oh, my mom is uh, pink, sipping on pink Moscato. Nice mom. Um, I think I saw it years ago. That's, it is a beautiful movie, if I remember correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm missing one. Almost forgot a square. Goodness gracious. All right. That's what happens when I get chatting with my ladies. Oh, Jennifer is sipping a Chardonnay. Nice. I think I might have my whole row done. Ooh, Julia, is that isn't that a tequila dose equals here? Oh, Cindy said Seven Moons Wine here. Have friends, new friends, meeting you tonight. Oh, hi Jen and Audra. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I guess I should probably say if this is the first time you're joining me on a live. I, uh, this is a, what I call a low content show. <laughs> my other, uh, my other live events during the week have a lot more 
uh, information, if you will, a lot more education on taking care of featherweights and quilting, um, questions and concerns. Oh, it's a Mexican beer. Okay, Julia, I was like, ooh, you're going for the tequila, huh? Um, this show is literally about having fun at the end of a long week, sipping some wine responsibly, I might add, and sewing on a project on one of my favorite featherweights. So, um, and, and I have about, I don't know, 50 or 60 friends that join me um, each Friday night and we just have a good old time. Um, hopefully I will not have a repeat occurrence of what happened on Wednesday night and my <laughs> my sew as you go because I actually put together the block wrong and then I had to use the seam ripper in front of all of my friends which everybody was really gracious about so I appreciate that but talk about embarrassing okay I'm gonna put this up so I can move on to the next row I'm gonna do this oh. grab a couple pins here oh Bonnie Belton says Moscato is my favorite <laughs> Oh, there is something about the mechanical music the featherweight makes when it's sewing. It joy, she says. I cannot agree more. I cannot agree more. Pins. I found one with my foot the other day. Okay, stay. All right, row up. All right, let's move on to our next row. Let's see here. All right, we need to start with a blank. This is my background, by the way. Isn't it rich? I love it. I love that it is just so, um, the color is so deep. The original, um, the original artist's intent was to have it um, be white. And I just didn't want a white uh, quilt, on, another white quilt on my bed. We have a very big black dog. So, um, all right. Pam says, at least you're not mixing axe throwing in wine. It's true. <laughs> Do you know someone that does that? <laughs> Jennifer says, there's no shame in using a seam ripper. Always have one or two close and use it frequently. Oh, can you guys hear Reagan typing? <laughs> she has a few more assignments due tonight for school. So she's behind the camera over here typing away multitasking like the rock star I know she is. So what's everybody's plans this weekend? I'm cleaning out the garage. That is my plan this weekend. We have to say goodbye to some friends who are snowbirding 
down in Florida for the winter. Um, it's a younger couple with a young baby, but they, um, you know, with all of everybody at the big software company that my husband works for being remote, they've decided they're going to go down and spend the winter in Florida where close to some grandparents. So anyway, we say goodbye or see you soon to them on Saturday night. And then Sunday, I cannot move around in the garage any more easily. And so the garage is going down. <laughs> oh, my mom says Reagan's the real rock star of the family. You know, she's going to rule the world someday. And Melanie says, love Tula Pink. You and me both, babe. Mom's going to church. What else is everybody doing this weekend? Pink blue. Our churches are still online. You can't go if you wanted to. We have not been allowed to have that many people gather. Missy Fisher from Redmond, hello. Better late than never is my motto. Linda Wood says making dog bandanas <laughs> for my daughter's four dogs. You are the best doggy grandma ever, Miss Linda. Are they special? Like, are they like uh, themed bandanas? Oh, my mom says Texas is opening bars. Big mistake. Oh, Bonnie's working on some alterations, but she would rather be quilting. Sister, you and me both. I'd rather be doing quilting more than almost anything else. <laughs> Not much time this week. I had um, I have three quilts on my frame, and um, I didn't get one of them done. It's just been crazy. Hi, Karen Philman. Thanks for joining us on Instagram. Uh, it's just been crazy this week. So I have some other stuff I have to be working on over the weekend. No. Um, no time for, for lazing around for me. Uh, Kathy on Instagram says putting, contemplating putting up my Christmas tree to hurry, <laughs> to hurry the year faster. Will you let me know if that works? <laughs> Cause I would really like to do that if that works. All right. Uh, Jennifer says she'll be sewing while husby is, husby, husby. Okay. I swear I've had like four sips of wine. That's it. Hubby is wrapped up in football. That sounds like a great way to spend your weekend. Mom, trick or treat isn't this weekend. It's not Halloween yet. Is it Halloween? No, it's just the 16th today. You got a few more weeks. You guys doing it early? Is that what you're doing? Melanie says going to finish my husband's shirt. Need buttonholes and buttons. I could use my new featherweight button holder. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. Angel is here. She says, I'm in Texas. I agree with your mom. <laughs> Opening up the bars was too early. Okay, let's see. I've got blue, blue. I'm starting to sense a pattern here, ladies. Pink. Okay, so I need to do this. Oh, Linda, you're out there. The bandanas don't have a theme. Just a variety of fabrics. Finished, just finished the crocheted bath rug. Wow, you're a busy girl. You are a busy girl.
Garden Quilter 62 says, so cute. So you guys know my evil twin sister. She has been on with me a couple times. She is, they've been at their other house in Idaho, in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and they're coming back over the weekend. And she, um, she's uh, now in a job search that she knew was coming. And so she's been sewing to help keep herself sane. And, oh, Kathy, I said, looking good, thanks. I think the quilt is turning out great. Uh, and Kathy Kirkland Quilter says, I'm cross-stitching a Laura, Lori Holt row pattern. That is a sewing theme, very fun. So anyway, Denise is coming home and um, I'll probably have to have her on when she gets back here. But anyway, you guys, so I was just commiserating with, you and I also was commiserating with, with her that I've put myself on fabric spending restriction because I have been going crazy lately. Tula has too much new stuff out and coming out. And so apparently I was a bad influence because she went to a fabric store in Spokane Valley, which is outside of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, where she lives, and found it's called the Decorative Stitches Quilt Pattern by Tula Pink, and it's out of the homemade fabric. And you guys, it has like a thousand pieces. Like I am not exaggerating. Um, and it is so tedious. And she's like, what was I thinking, Darlene? And she likes tedious projects like that. Like that's her jam is like the 300 flying geese in the quilt. And I'm like, I don't even know why you're surprised, Denise, because that's the kind of stuff you like to sew on. Not me. I like big pieces. I'm a, uh, I like, not instantaneous gratis, gratification, but I do like to see progress or I lose interest. That quilt has four pages of cutting instructions. Four pages of cutting instructions. And I'm like, what were you thinking? <laughs> She's laughing at me. I don't know, she says. I'm like, mm -mm, no, thank you. It's safe to say I think that will keep her out of trouble for a while. For sure. <gasps> Whitney Bryce joined. Hi, Bryce. Oh, um, Bridget says, do you have any other designers that you follow? Yes. Um, so I am a big fan of anything Rifle Paper Company, which is a cotton and steel um, fabric line. My daughter is too. And in fact, one of... It is, yeah, Cotton and Steel is the manufacturer. No, it's not. It isn't? No. Oh. Ray says Cotton and Steel isn't. I don't think it is. It's Rifle Paper Company. Anyway. It's rifles. And anyway, Ray hoards the Rifle Paper Company fabric. She, she's a fabric collector. She refuses to let me cut into it. Oh, Garden Quilter, are you working on that decorative stitches too? She says, I'm in to a half page of cutting. Oh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> half page of cutting instructions. I'm with you. That, that sounds good to me. Three, four pages? No. Anyway, so I love anything by Rifle Paper Company. In fact, they have a new um, line coming out called Strawberry Fields. I may or may not be putting together some special stuff for you guys next year, and I may or may not be using that line of fabric for it. So pretty. I also, I really do like a lot of the designers um, with Free Spirit. I'm a, I also like Kaif a lot, um, and I'm really into the modern quilt movement where you have a lot of big pieces and the quilting is what makes up the texture and the movement of the quilt. Um, that's kind of my thing too. So that tool uh, is just consistently kicks out things that all go with each other. And I really appreciate her thoughtfulness in keeping the, like the color palettes and stuff similar. So you can mix and match between the two lines. I really like that about her. Um, uh, Kathy says no alcohol for me yet. Working on a customer quilt. Good call. We don't, definitely don't want to do that and uh, work on a customer quilt. Robin says, hello from New Jersey. Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, has Ray started a hope chest? She has not. Not a bad idea though. 
think we're not too late. <laughs> she's she's working her way towards 18. She's on the back side of 17. How did we get here? She's like so old. It was just like with my son. Okay, another row done. How cute. First row. Let's start with these. Hi, Sarah Holt. I see you. Are the girls on? Hi, Emmy. Hi, Georgia. <laughs> Julia says, cave. Modern quilts. Actually, my real favorite is any type of a traditional quilt that has a modern flair to it. Oh, what's the name? Kathy wants to know what the name of the quilt Denise is making. It's called Decorative Stitches by Tula Pink. And Free Spirit uh, kitted it all up. So pretty. Kirkland Coulter at Instagram says Love Cave have 200 yards from Cave Club. <gasps> mm -hmm. Nice. Now that's a stash. That is a stash. Alright. This, this. Answering your questions. Um, <laughs> come chop up my house. Careful what you ask for, sister. We do not live that far apart. Um, we, uh, so if you have any questions about your featherweight, then um, Monday you can email them into info, I-N-F-O at featherweightdoctor.com and I'll answer your questions live on the show, which is four o'clock Pacific Standard Time on social on all the social media platforms um, um instagram youtube and facebook what what was that from the yes cd seed stitch 13 that was from the quilting bee that's where she got her kit from are you in spokane i think you are in spokane aren't you youtube watcher I, I need to get that battery back for when the power goes out. I know, because the power was flickering. I know. So you could still sew and pass time. Oh, Mom says, no wonder I haven't heard from her. Mm-hmm. Yes, we can. Yes, so she did buy that at the Quilting Bee. She was feeling guilty about uh, shopping. Oh. 
of course, Mom. Yeah, I'll make sure you know. I don't know what day yet. I have to wrangle her into coming over to my house. Mom wants to know when we're going to be on again, her and I. She'll be back home for a month this time around. Okay, this, this, and then we go to, uh oh, wait, okay. We go to blue, pink, blue, pink. Okay. So one of the places, one of the reasons why I scheduled my little dinner tonight is some friends of ours have a new puppy, you guys. She's six months old and it's a yellow lab. I can't wait. That dog is getting absolutely spoiled by me tonight. I actually bought her a toy so that her and I could be friends. So I invited myself over for dinner to our friend's house. I'm bringing dinner, so I'm not imposing, but I need to play with that puppy. <laughs> Mom says, double the fun to watch the two of you giggling and chuckling. I try. Um, Linda Wood says, when the electric goes out here, I can use, you could use a treadle. Missy, do you have a treadle? I do, and she actually works like a charm. I've told you guys my funny story about my treadle. <laughs> Jennifer says, oh, sounds like mom is missing y'all. She, she lives in Texas and Denise and I live up here in Seattle. She does live by the other sister though, the older sister, but the evil twin and I live up here in Seattle. And so they did not, because of COVID, they haven't been able to come up. They usually take a, um, they take a, a summer trip up here, Jennifer, and they weren't able to this year. So she's coming out uh, for the holidays and we get to see her then. So that'll be fun. Um, let's make sure this is going the right way. So my treadle sewing machine, I have a little funny story about it actually. Um, when we were moving, we moved into this place in the fall and um, we, my friend Sarah has two young kids, um, Emmy and Georgia, and they, uh, Emmy is two. And she had, you know, the little two-year-olds that like to try and like strip their clothes off when they're, when it's bedtime. Well, Emmy had a torn the little snap that goes over the zipper on the pajama onesies. And so Sarah, um, we kind of moved to this house in stages. We moved our upstairs, which is all of our like house stuff. And then the downstairs is my studio. And so that moved a week later. So Sarah had come over that week before my studio had moved here because Emmy had torn her little, um, her little pajama snap and, and she had already stripped down one night and Sarah's like, we're not playing this game. And so she, she knew that I sewed obviously. And so she brought it over to see if I would repair the pajamas. And I looked at her and I said, Sarah, I don't know. I don't have, um, I don't have any sewing machines here cause I haven't moved my studio. And then, then it occurred to me that I have that little to uh, chain stitcher collection and I was like well maybe I can get one of those to fix it so I must fuddled around with a couple of them and then I remembered I had the treadle hello because the treadle is upstairs it's in my living room and the living room had been moved so I fixed Emmy's um snap pajamas with the treadle worked like a charm had to you know go one of the hard th hardest things about the treadle is getting that movement down on the pedal for your foot but once I just start rolling the hand wheel and then I get the movement with my feet and I just keep up with it. But yeah, it looked like a charm. Isn't that fun? Jennifer said, I would love to have a trial. I bought mine at a garage sale for $75 before the prepper people drove the price up. <laughs> Garden quilter 62. She must like treadles also. Uh, Pam Green says, have you done a video of what you do with the screwdriver set you sell? If not, could, oh yeah, absolutely. 
So the screwdriver set that we sell, Miss Pam, is specifically for the featherweight. So all of the screwdrivers on there are specifically for each of the screws that you need to um, move around to uh, to sew with a featherweight. And I would be happy to do a video so you could see which screwdriver goes to which screw. No problem. Rose is on. Hi, Rose. I didn't realize you and I have um, some mutual friends. Rose, uh, you know my friend Kathy Hatfield, and I think you also know my friend Deb Schmitty, because you guys are all down there in Knoxville together. Uh, Rose says, do you get steps recorded on your Fitbit? <laughs> do you get steps recorded on your Fitbit when you're using your treadmill? I should hope so. Because trying to run a bobbin on that on the treadle is exhausting. It is exhausting. I like was <sighs> huffing and puffing. Oh, Cindy said she liked that too. Maybe we'll talk about that on Monday. Let, I'll have a screwdriver set out and I'll show you which screws. Oh, Rose, you might know her. She said, oh, snap. You might know Kathy as um, Kathy Stevens. But it, I know her as... Kathy and sewing machine technician Dan. <laughs> Lisa uh, Klein says, I learned to sew on a treadle at age seven. 53 years later, I still have it. That is awesome. You have the original treadle you learned how to sew on. Lisa, that's pretty special. Very fun. Mine, I don't know where mine came from. It's an early 1900. One and it was in really nice shape. I, I really felt like I should have paid more. Oh, she does remember know you, <laughs> Kathy. She says yes. Um, I feel like I should have paid more, but that was the price, and I didn't even negotiate. I just paid the price. Lisa Wood says, I bought my treadle in 1971 for $25 from a man who lost his wife. That's sad. I love the movement of the treadle. It, mine is so, it, it's not like a hypnotic movement like the featherweight because I just I don't have the coordination to do it really well because I don't, I've never really put the time in to figuring out how to do it really well. But its movement is like smooth, like maple syrup smooth. Just really fast and slick. It's awesome. I guess maple syrup's kind of sticky. But you guys would get it, how it might be kind of smooth too, yeah? Kathy says, my grandpa made all my Barbie doll clothes on a treadle. That is so sweet. Oh, grandma, not grandpa. <laughs> like, wait, what? <laughs> Maybe grandpa could sew too. You never know. Judy, side bottom, Putnam says, I have my great grandmother's treadle, all the attachments. I've owned it for over 50 years. Very cool. I told Andy, because sometimes when we move, if, the places we're moving to are smaller. He starts looking at my um, sewing machine, machine collection like I should probably pick some favorites and I make sure he knows that there are a couple that are never going anywhere and my treadle is one of them. All right. I am cruising along. I got three rows done. All right, you guys. I think I'm going to jump. Oh, I, everybody was curious. What I'm, this is the layout of my um, of my quilts. See, it looks like a heart, but instead of using white background, I'm using dark background. Yay! All right, I'm going to jump off a few minutes early so I can go throw my dinner together before I head out for my um, puppy play date. It's really what I'm going to is a puppy play date. Um, oh, Melanie says, yep, still have my treadle. Got it when I was seven as well. It is 55 years later. Pretty awesome, you guys. Um, I just want to thank everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. Seed Stitch 13 says, I have a treadle, but it's not running yet. Still have to install the bell. That's an easy fix, girl. <laughs> Robin says, I have two treadles, a Singer 
need some love, but I have one called a, a free and it's perfect. Oh, that's fun. I've never seen that kind. All right. So remember our little contest for next week. You guys submit your toasts to me and we'll, we'll do a toast at the beginning of every show. And if I use your toast, then you get a free gift. Um, I'll end on one because this is, I saw this one and I liked it a lot. Okay. You guys ready? Everybody grab your glass. We'll have one more toast. Okay, it matters not if the wine glass is half empty or half full. Clearly, there's room for more wine. Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Oh, I need to sip. It's bad luck. Jennifer, I'll see you Monday also. 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Right back here. I'll show you how, which screwdrivers go to which screws. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon.